Oh, wow. Tell us about this. I'm Eric Munger. I'm the head brewer at Bridgeport Brewing Company. Hello? Hello. Eric Munger, head brewer at Bridgeport Brewing Company. And I've been brewing at Bridgeport for 14 years. So I, I am proud to be here today, obviously. This is a first for me. At no point in the, my past did I remotely consider that I would be on a bridge with Congressman Blumenauer. <laughs> and it just amazes me, as a brewer, how beer can open these doors unexpectedly and in this case, helping to open a bridge. So maybe that's another first. Yes. Uh, opening a, a bridge with a beer. With Bridgeport. With I Bridgeport. Love it. I love it. <laughs> you to name it. <laughs> so um, I was asked to say a few things about how we developed this beer. It was a different process for us. But uh, we began discussions on this recipe back in February. And um, we knew we wanted to brew a commemorative beer. And uh, we were originally inspired, believe it or not, just by the, the colors of the project, uh, the whiteness of the bridge. And I understand this is going to be serviced by TriMet's uh, orange line light rail. So working from white and orange was enough for the brewing team. Uh, we have this ritual at, at Bridgeport uh, it's a daily ritual. We call it the afternoon tasting. <laughs> and uh, I know offices. Like that. <laughs> <You> know. <laughs> so every afternoon we we do gather and we taste beer that's in the brewery that's ready to move on to the next step in the brewing process. So we'll we'll taste beer from a fermenter that's ready to go to a conditioning tank, just to be sure it's ready to move along. And we'll taste beer from a conditioning tank that's ready to package, and so on. Uh, the afternoon tasting is a great place to discuss new ideas and uh, my brewmaster Jeff Edgerton uh, threw out the idea of a commemorative beer the yeah, colors were white and orange and uh, we just kind of let them rip uh, we set, we settled on the idea of using malted white wheat there's the white <laughs> uh, it's a nice white creamy head uh, we need some more beer I we think need some more <laughs> I, I, there we go. Demonstration purpose. Right. It's part of your job. That's a beautiful pour. So malted white wheat. Uh, we've never used uh, so much white wheat in our in our beer before, so it was a first. We weren't sure if our equipment can handle it, but uh, everything turned out fine, as you can see and as you will taste shortly. Uh, and for the orange, uh, we wanted to use uh, orange peel and uh, we weren't sure where to add it during the brewing process. We had a lot of choices, but we decided on um, adding it to the fermenter as part of the dry hopping process. So we didn't use it on the hot side, we put it into the uh, cold side, into the fermenter. Um, and we really wanted to use a different yeast for this brew uh, to set it apart from the other Bridgeport brands. And we selected a, a Belgian yeast strain which uh, creates a very nice aromatic, somewhat spicy, and uh, with the orange there, yes. Uh, so with these ideas, the next step was really to, to, to test them at Oregon State University. Uh, University, we have a collaborative process going with the university, and we test brew at their pilot brewing.